acoustic instruments here for people like Van Morrison, James Morrison, Bob Dylan, Katie Malua, uh, Mark Knopfler. It's a job of patience and a job of being careful about how you put the things together. With a great many things of high quality, the devil's in the details. The Guitar Festival happens in October, usually the first or second weekend in October of every year and has been going now for, I think this is our 14th year. It's an international guitar festival. We bring players in from all over the world, from America, from Australia, from Europe. And we have concerts in the Art Centre, we have concerts in the Ivy Bar. There's also a fringe festival in the, in the cafes around the town and in some of the bars. two gallery spaces here. This is the Georgian Gallery. We have one upstairs called the Sunburst Gallery. We show both local and international artists. We hold um, two different exhibitions once a month. We hold many functions here along with the exhibitions. We hold leisure classes. The theatre has been established since September 2004 and it's the only privately owned theatre in Ireland so we're very proud of that. The building um, itself dates back to 1875 and when we first looked at it, it was an old factory building and we walked in, we just fell in love with it because there was so much space. We have a studio that is available to hire and we have a professional 120 seat theatre. We're here in Arts Crafts which is the Council's flagship craft and design centre. The centre has been open since 1996 Examples of some of the makers whose work is on display in the Craft Centre is Nora Watson, who's a jewellery designer from Clocky. We've also got Mark Hanvey, a renowned wood turner from Newton Arts, and an example of a pottery studio 1200 degrees centigrade located just outside Port of Ferry. In addition to our craftspeople, we've around 50 or 60 visual artists, so together we have one of the most thriving creative industry sectors in Northern Ireland. Yeah.